this is Ethan Minsker again from the Antagonist Art Movement. It's uh, September 24th, 2009. We're here with Noel, um, the artist. Let's meet him. Oh my guys, my name is Noel Donaldson. I'm an artist and I'm a huge fan of Antagonist Art Movement. And we're just here on a Thursday night. And I just want to introduce you real quick to my artwork. Um, we'll probably start off with this piece right here. Um, this piece that you're looking at is a piece that you know, I'm very fond of because duality and existence is a, it's a big uh, motivator in my artwork. And as you can see, this is sort of a tranquil character that we're looking at. But coming up right here is sort of this more chaotic character. And it's a central theme of my artwork where you'll see um, peaceful images with sort of chaotic images and sort of bleeding of hearts. And, and just a lot of fun stuff, you know what I mean? Um, this is an interesting piece. I actually was walking one day in tar Target and I saw these boogie boards and I was like, wow, I've never seen anyone put art against a material as corrosive as a boogie board because it's already treated. And you know, I I'm into these different shapes as you can see. And I just wanted to know what it would be like to work on a surface like this. And I totally love it because it's just a different material than anything else I've seen before. Uh, we'll come up here, you'll see that this is a cityscape, and a lot of times I use sort of these skeletal characters. It's just a duality from chaos in the city. If you zoom in closer, uh, the subway map, the actual New York City subway map is underneath a lot of my work. And that's always a symbolism to me of an organ system running through the city and directions. So the messages inside of your life, please have some direction. Uh, this is another boogie board piece that I really love. Here you see sort of the heart pumping because, you know, heart is not stone. And the reason that I use this structure is just to show that there's movement in someone's heart. Don't let the city make your heart into the stone character. You see the wings right here, so, you know, it's defy gravity, defy gravity. Um, this is another interesting piece for me because I'm always mixing in old school stuff with new school stuff. Obviously this is a great Michelangelo's work. And I put it in this piece because I just wanted to have a juxtaposition of new school graffiti with sort of the old school old master structure. And he's just grabbing them. So I just like the way this piece came out. And once again humanity and youth nation rise up. Um, one of my favorite character pieces obviously once again paying homage to the old masters. Mona Lisa with some tears dripping. But she's set again this sort of contemporary graffiti character with the subway map in the background. Right here we have sort of this Pope figure praying and giving homage and respect graffiti, it's art. And that's my message here, right here. You know, this duality in this piece, old school, new school, love, hate, woman, be vocal. And for those of you that don't know, not just another brick in the wall, Floyd. Um, rewind history, Hard Not Stone, once again you have sort of this great piece of artwork from the old school master, but you have this contemporary graffiti character pointing right at it and he's telling you Rewind History 63. For those of you who don't know what 63 is, it's too late for you to find out. But um, you got the subway map, you got the old school structure, and it's just part of what I do every day. So where can we find you? Uh, my website is artinharlem.com. Very simple. My email is noelchucky, N-O-E-L-C-H-U-C-K-Y, at yahoo.com. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Good night. Thanks.